Hey there, fellows. Alright, so summer is just around the corner. People are actively trying to get in shape to show off and be all macho. And so, why don't we make us a sort of dual-purpose exercise bike? And make it car-themed. I actually recently ran into a situation where my battery was flat and I really needed to start the car. I had to jump start it, uh, you all know how that goes. And I might have been able to cook something up if I had a bicycle. Now the idea for today isn't just to make an exercise bike. We're gonna grab an alternator as well as this sort of bicycle and try pedaling to start a car. So let's make us an exercise bike that's not just good for burning calories, but can also be of some sort of use. We are doing a pedal battery charger in this one. Okay, let's get to work. We make a 10-minute express pedal battery charger. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay guys, so right here we've got a car, there's the battery, and let's assume we left the stereo on while chilling in the countryside. Or we simply forgot to turn the headlights off. Now it's time for us to go home and... Uh, and we're... not going anywhere. We have a problem. But I mean with this car you can just push start it and off you go. But what if you've got an automatic? But we've got that exercise bike! Now we've welded this together, though you could just use nuts and bolts. This is a regular bicycle, which we haven't broken, by the way. All we did was take the tire off the rim. So there is your wheel and a belt and an alternator. Okay, let's start by checking the battery charge. That is 11 point... Let's call it 4. Volts and that'll do it, I reckon. So yum! Let's go get that apparatus. That electrical bike thing. Park it right next to our car. It's actually very light and convenient. Grab the cables. Negative to negative. Positive to positive. And in order for the whole thing to work, we need to... feed 12 volts into the alternator for the voltage to create a magnetic field. We've actually got a wire right here. We hook it up to this. And there you go. Okay, let's go. 13.3. Is everything in working order? Oh wow, 13! So it's gone up from 11.3 to 13 volts with no trouble at all. That was the workout. It's a good one? Keep it up! You seem to be having a rough time. What, you done? Yeah, you'd better kick that bad habit of yours. Look at that, it's almost a 12. I mean, it's not gonna charge too fast, enough so that it could start a car. That said, I do think we are on the correct path. I think we need to time how long it takes to charge the battery to where it can start the engine. Let's do this.
So look here, guys. We've all worked the pedals for as much as we all could, and the battery voltage is at 11.9 volts. It's nice and stable. Oh, wait, it's dropping a bit. Eh, no big deal. Okay, let's see where we've gotten with this. Nice. Pretty good. So if you don't know how to fix an engine, you're gonna have to pedal. <laughs> what else do you want me to say? Why won't it start, though? I think because we were making fun of it, but it decided it'll have the last laugh. Nothing surprising in that at all. So here's the situation. It seemed like we put a bit of charge into it, but the engine wouldn't start. If I may reiterate, if you can't properly tune an engine, that means we'll have to pedal. Time for round two. And so after another 15 minutes, the battery's now producing a stable 11.9 volts. Which is good. I mean, the second time just has to be the charm. It would have fired up right away if not for that freaking spark plug. It is what it is. The starter was doing his job well, and now our objective is to start this thing. Yay, it started! Terrific! And the alternator that's fitted to the car will quite obviously make quick work of bringing that battery back online. And overall, I have to say, this was a pretty fun experiment. If it so happens you have a flat battery, you have a bicycle and you're willing to pedal, 10 minutes and you'll be able to start your car again. But under one condition. As long as your engine is eager to fire up. This one used to be good. I have no idea what happened to it. But then if we're out here constantly experimenting with this car, it might have decided to pull a trick on us. This was very hesitant to start. But on our third attempt, it was finally able to. So yeah, a bicycle and an alternator for a car, a few modifications here and there, and all of that is going to work wonders. We've made us a useful exercise bike, and what's... I got fed up with the noise. What's interesting is that the alternator gives you quite a bit of load. And if you play around with the gearing on the bicycle, Go through first, second, third. I'd imagine fourth and fifth might turn out to be too much to push through. My point is this is quality exercise, with variable load even. And in the meantime, you're generating electricity. And that's all I got for you guys. This was a success. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.